a baby painted turtle emerges from its nest, seeing the world for the first time. He's on his own, with nothing but his instincts to help him survive. The first thing he must do is find water. The journey to the water is dangerous, with many obstacles along the way. This colony of ants could prove lethal to the small turtle. While tiny, ants are voracious predators and will work in teams to take down large prey items. Only 1% of all baby turtles will grow to reach sexual maturity, and only 5% of babies survive the hatch. Oftentimes, turtles will be dug up by raccoons and other animals. Despite these many threats, the 1% of turtles manage to survive and make it to the water, including our little guy. While the water provides refuge from some predators, this turtle's journey to maturity is far from over. At this age, the turtle's shell is still very soft, and his claws are not sharp enough to defend himself. He must be quick and stay hidden in order to evade predators like the great blue heron. Like all reptiles, the painted turtles are cold-blooded, meaning that they cannot regulate their own body temperature. In order to stay warm, the turtles must come out of the water and bask. Their shells are used like solar panels, taking in heat and energy from the sun. In areas with high water, basking spots can be difficult to find, so it's not uncommon to see large groups of turtles basking together. Large groups of turtles, such as this, are known as a bale of turtles. The painted turtle can hold its breath for many hours if it needs to, and during the winter months, may even hold it for months at a time. The painted turtle can remain underwater for many hours without having to come to the surface. This incredible ability allows them to stay underwater much longer than the other turtles in this area. The turtle is also capable of holding its breath throughout all of the winter months as he hibernates. By looking at this adult, you can see how the painted turtle got its name with the bright markings all around its shell. Each turtle is unique, with some individuals being much more vibrant in color than others. After working his way up the food chain, our little turtle is now slightly larger, with a much more sturdy shell. He is still fairly small, however, being only about 2 to 3 inches in length. He will reach sexual maturity at age 10, and if he can survive, may live to be 30 years. Our little guy is basking, taking in essential warmth for the day, when suddenly, an invasive spotted lanternfly approaches. In any other scenario, the turtle would make a meal of this bug. However, he is not maneuverable enough to pull off this stunt right now. He instead falls into the water, 
bringing the lanternfly with him. The days are growing shorter, and cold temperatures move in. The turtle will soon be forced underground until spring arrives. The painted turtle is adaptable and can be found from city parks to mountain lakes. They can be found in nearly every state. This is a completely safe turtle species to handle and interact with, unlike their cousins, the snapping turtle. Handling an adult painted turtle is similar to the way you would hold a cheeseburger. They should be held from the middle of the shell. Never grab a turtle by its limbs, tail, or head. Having a hands-on experience with these animals can oftentimes lead to a better appreciation of these creatures in which we share our planet. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the time that I caught a giant snapping turtle over at our other channel, Your Average Outdoorsman. Also, check out Boone Wildlife on Instagram to see some fascinating wildlife photos.